viewers it's time to talk about preparing for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ is about to come he went to prepare a place for us the place is ready he has done everything that he wanted to do and now he's ready to come back the host of heaven that will be coming with him is ready Michael and the warring angels are ready the saints in heaven are ready everything has been prepared everything has been done and everyone is ready and everything is ready for the coming of the Lord you come back and appear in the skies and then the Christians will go up and meet him in the skies and then they'll go with him to heaven and then he will present everyone to the Father but are we ready for the coming of the Lord have we done what it takes if we prepared ourselves if we prepared our hearts so that when he comes we'll be able to go with him so that when he appears in the skies we'll be able to go and join him so that we'll be able to go and be partakers of the marriage supper in heaven that has been prepared for us so that we'll be able to go and live in our mansions we'll go we'll be able to go and see the mansions that have been prepared for us in heaven we'll go and we'll be able to go and see how heaven, how big heaven is how beautiful it is and how vast it is We'll be able to go and enjoy everything that has been prepared for us in heaven. We'll be able to go to go and see our mansions, everything that has been set for us, everything that has been made for us, everything that has been prepared for us in heaven. But most of us, going to heaven is going to be a story. Most of us will not be able to go to heaven. Why? Because of the things that we're doing here in heaven. The things that will cause us to, to go to hell when we die. The things that we cause us to be unable to go with the Lord when He comes. We we are going astray, Christians. We are doing what we should not do. And we are ending up going where we should not go. Most of the Christians are, end, are ending up going to hell. Where they, but they should not go to hell. Why? Because we fail to prepare our hearts. We fail to do what it takes for us to be able to go to heaven. The problem is the heart. Most of the things that are taking people to hell is because of the things in their hearts. Many people are going to hell because they fail to prepare their hearts. When you prepare your heart, when you empty your heart for, of everything else that is not of God, and you keep only the word of the Lord in your heart, as the word says in Deuteronomy 6, verse 6, that only the word of the Lord should be in your heart. When you keep only the word of the Lord in your heart, as in Deuteronomy 11, verse 18, your heart will be clean, your heart will be pure, there will be no jealousy in your heart. There will be no hatred in your heart. There will be no en envy in your heart. There will be no malice in your heart. There will be no backbiting in your heart. All those sins will not be there. So when you die, you'll be able to go to heaven. So when our Lord Jesus Christ comes, you'll be, able, you'll be able to go to heaven. But because of the sins of the heart, many people are failing to go to heaven. Because of the sins of the heart, many people are going to hell. Why? Because of what is in their heart. Why? Because of what they keep in their heart. When we empty our hearts of everything else that is not of God, and we only keep the word of God in our hearts, Holy Spirit will dwell in our hearts. Holy Spirit will take over us. We'll be able to go to heaven when we die. We'll be able to go with the Lord when he appears. Why? Because our hearts are clean. Why? Because we, we kept the word of God in our hearts. Why? Because we repented and kept nothing else but the, heart, the word of God in our, heart, in our hearts. We ran away from all evil, jealousy, malice, wickedness, evil, you name it. Because most of the times people concentrate on the big sins and they forget the small sins like jealousy, malice, those that are not seen. They think because people cannot see it, so it's okay. No one knows that they are jealous. No one knows that they are envious. No one knows that they big bite. No one knows that they are slanderous. But God knows. And the angels know. And the angels will be watching and recording. And then on the last day you end up going to hell. Why? Because of your heart. Why? Because of what you kept in your heart. I started a series about the sections in hell and I just want to continue on the series about the sections in hell because so many people are going to hell and so many and people are doing so many things that cause them to go to hell but they don't know that the things that they are doing they cause them to go to hell they don't know so because we're trying to avoid surprises we're trying to avoid the situation where people end, end up Find, it, find themselves in a situation where they are going to, told to go to hell because of things that they, they didn't know that it, to cause them to go to hell. That is why I'm trying to look at other, so many things that cause people to go to hell, like the sessions in hell. When I talk about the sessions in hell, then that means if there's a session for that thing in, in hell, then that means if you do that thing, then you end up in hell. If, you, if, you, if there's a session of jealous, for jealous people in hell, that means if you are jealous, then you end, you end up in hell. 
if you, if there's a section for backbiters in hell, then that means if you are backbiting, you end up in hell. Then that means you will not be able to go to heaven because there's no place for you in heaven. But a place has been made for you where in hell there's a section for only people who do what you do. Either they are jealous people, or they are slanderers, or they are backbiters, or they are whatever. But there's a section for each and every sin in hell. Because in hell, the people are grouped according to the sins that they committed. Maybe they committed more than one sin, but the one that they committed most, they end up in that place where, of, for the sin that they committed most. Or the most bad one. Then they, they end up in that area. The, 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 the other ones, that are sins as well, but small, or they were committed not very often, the less number of times. They don't go there. But the one that you committed the most, the one that is the most one, the heaviest for you, is the one that you go to. Maybe you succeeded in doing everything else, but then there's one small one that you failed to do. Maybe you did not even know that it was a sin. And then you did it, and not knowing. And then because it's only that one small one, you end up in hell, in, hell, in the section for that sin. So there are so many sections in hell for so many different sins that people are committing here on earth. I'm looking at the sections in hell. There's one section for idol worshippers. All those people who worship idols, they don't go to heaven. They go to hell. And there's a section for them. An area specifically made for idol worshippers. Where idol worshippers go, where idol worshippers find themselves there. Maybe they will even meet other idol worshippers that they used to go worship idols with on earth before they died. And then when they go to hell, they will see them there. Because it's just a place for them idol worshippers. So a place has been, was, there's a section for idol worshippers in, in hell. A place was made specifically for idol worshippers. They are all gathered there. It's not a good place to be. Hell is not a good place to be. It's a place of fire, non-ending fire. It's, it, if we can do anything to avoid going to hell, we should do, do what we can to avoid hell, going to hell. The Bible says in Exodus 20, verses 3 to 5, You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make your, for yourself a caved image, any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. You shall not bow down to them, nor save them. For I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children to the third and fourth generations of those who hate me. So this is for idol worshippers. A verse to support the idol worshippers. Why they go to hell is because they, they worship idols. But the Bible says in Exodus 20, verses 3 to 5, that people should not worship idols. People should only worship God. But they worship idols. They, their idols are now their gods. They, they no longer worship God, but they worship the idol. They no longer serve God, but they serve the idol. But the Bible clearly says in Exodus 20, verses 3 to 5, that they should not worship anything else except God. The moment people do what do opposite to what the Bible says they should do, then they, they have committed sin and they go to hell. Just like idol worshippers, there's a section for idol worshippers. Why? Because they've done, uh, they've done, or they've, they did the opposite to what the Bible says. The Bible says they should not worship anything else except God, but they worship idols. As a result, they go to hell. So all those idol worshippers, as long as they are worshipping idols, their place is in hell. There's a section for them in hell. And there are so many people in this section because there are so many idol worshippers out there. The Bible also tells us in Leviticus 19, Verses Leviticus 19, verses 28. The Bible says, You shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor tattoo any marks on you. I am the Lord. So, idol worshippers and people who make cuttings with the, up on their ball on, on themselves for the dead, and people who worship the dead. You know, some people worship the dead, maybe in their families, they worship the, the dead people, they hold the ceremony to worship the dead, or like once a year, they worship, they hold the ceremony to worship the dead, and they honor the dead, and they cut themselves with the dead, and they do whatever, they mark themselves with the dead to honor that ceremony, and they do whatever for the dead, it's not of God. As the Bible is telling, telling us in Ecclesiastes 1928, it will cause them to go to hell. 
because they are not worshiping God, they are worshiping the dead. They are worshiping members of their family that are dead. Maybe it's their parents, maybe it's their ancestors, maybe it's their great parents. They, they are the ones that they honor. And they even pray to them when they call their names and pray to them and then say, pass this message to this and this and this. And they go on, they know how they do it. And then, but they are worshiping the dead. The Bible says they should not worship the dead. The Bible says we should worship only God. So the moment they start worshiping the dead, they've gone astray. They've gone over as well. The Bible says in Exodus 20, verses 3 to 5, therefore they go to hell and in hell they do not just go to any part of hell there's a section for them that has been made for them in hell where they will go a section that is made specifically for idol worshippers, specifically for people who worship the other things that is not God there's a place for them a place has been made for them this is where they will go and this is where they will gather all those idol worshippers there is no place for them in heaven they cannot enter heaven why because they don't worship god they worship other things but the bible says in, in leviticus 19 to 28 they should not do so but they decided to do so or they decide to do so therefore when they die they cannot enter heaven therefore when they die they go to hell why because there's a place for them that has been made for them a section there's a section of hell that is specifically set aside for idol worshipers so all those idol worshipers there's a place for them in hell and this covers idol worshippers, this covers people who attend festivals, this covers people who, 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 who celebrate the dead or worship the dead or make reference to the dead. They hold ceremonies and, and honor their dead parents or dead ancestors or dead grandparents or whatever. And they are dead and they honor them and they celebrate them and they hold ceremonies and they worship them. And, they, and all those idol worshippers, there's a section for them in hell. They don't go to heaven, they go to hell. They cannot enter heaven. Or they, the only place they can enter is in hell. A section for idol worshippers. Because I'm only, I'm only talking about sections in hell. Because there are sections in hell for different things that people do here on earth that cause them to go to hell. Whether they knew that it would cause them to go to hell or they did not know, is it, no, I don't know. But all I know is hell, there are sections in hell and people go to different sections of hell. And like t today I've, talk I've talked about idol worshippers. That is a section for idol worshippers in hell. There's also another section in hell for people who hate others. You, you don't just say I hate so and so and you don't just hate them. If you hate them, you can hate them. If you want to say you hate so and so, you can say you hate so and so. But when you die, you go to hell. You don't go to any part of hell. There's a section specifically for people who hate others. The Bible says love one another. Jesus said love one another. Jesus loves us. But instead of following what Jesus did, that he loves us, or instead of following what Jesus does, that he loves us, we choose to hate one another. Instead of following what the Bible says, do, the Bible says love one another. But we choose to hate one another. We choose to say, I hate this one. We choose, we choose to speak negative about them. We choose to do to say every negative word about them. We choose to call them every other name, every evil name, every wicked name. But it's not of God. And that is not what our Lord Jesus Christ told us to do. And that is not what the Bible says. The Bible says one love one another. Even God loves us. Because the word says in John 3, 16, for God loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. He did not give the, his only begotten son because of hatred to the world, but because of love. So we should learn from the Father and we should learn from Jesus, who died for us on the cross because of love. But as instead of loving like the Father, instead of loving like Jesus, we are hating each other. We say, I hate this one and I hate this one and I hate this one. Some people even say, I hate that one with the passion. Don't just say, don't just think you're just saying, I hate this one. And don't just think that you are saying, I hate this one, I hate this one, I hate this one. And you think it ends there. It doesn't end there. It ends with you in hell. In a section for people who hate one another. There's a place that whenever you say, I hate this one. Or whenever you know in your heart that you hate that one. Just know that when you die, you go to a section for people who hate each other. The Bible says in Leviticus 19 verses 17. You shall not hate your brother in your heart. You shall surely rebuke your neighbor and not be blessed because of him. So the Bible is saying you shall not hate your brother in your heart. Whether you say you hate them in your heart or whether you show, the, you show them that you hate them or whether you tell people that you hate them, what matters here, the underlying word is hate. You should not hate one another, but we should love one another. So the moment you hate your brother, the moment you hate your sister, the moment you hate whoever, you go to hell. And there's a section for you in hell. 
that has been specifically made for people who hate others. Why? Because they've gone astray, they've committed sin. Why? Because every time when people do what the Bible says they should not do, they co they've committed sin. Like in this case, the Bible says in Leviticus 19, verses 17, you shall, not, you shall not hate your brother in your heart. Maybe they don't even know that you hate them. But in your heart, you know you, you, know, you, know you hate them. When you hate them in your heart, maybe you, don't, you didn't even tell them. Maybe you didn't even tell anyone. But God knows that in your heart you hate them. So when you die, you go to hell. Why? Because of hatred in your heart. Because he did not say you should, hate, you should keep hatred in your heart. He said love one another. He said keep his word in your, in your heart. But instead of keeping your, his word in your heart, you have decided to keep hatred. You have decided to hate others. Therefore, when you die, where do you go? You go to hell. When you die, what is waiting for you? A section is waiting for you in hell. In hell. A section made specifically for people who hate others. Why? Because they've gone astray. Why? Because they've done what the Bible said they should not do. The Bible says in Leviticus 19, verses 12, 17, love one another. There is no way the Bible says, sorry, the Bible says in, Le, in, Le, in Leviticus 19, verses 17, you shall, not, you shall not hate your brother in your heart. And Jesus said, love one another. And God loved us. So those that hate others, those that keep hatred in their hearts, maybe they don't say it. Maybe they, don't even, they can't even talk, but there is hatred in their heart. Hell is waiting for them. And not just hell, a section has been made for them in hell. It is very, very unfortunate. When, a section, when sections are being made for others in, hell, in heaven, and in heaven, it's not just a section that is being made for them. It's a mansion that is made specifically for each and every one of them. Because they are going to heaven. Whereas others are going to hell. Where there is a section. Maybe say it's a 100 square meter section. For all the people who hate each other. And they will be just mixed there. They don't have even one square meter of that. They say this is specifically mine. But those that are going to heaven, they've got mansions. They've got all that space for, to themselves simply because they are going to hell, heaven. And those that are going to hell, they are all dumped in one big pit fire or fire. One big section of fire. Why? Because they kept hatred in their hearts. Why? Because they did what they should not do. Why? Because they, they, they did not keep the word of the Lord in their hearts. Why? Because they failed to work to walk according to the judgments, commandments, and statutes of the Lord. As a result, they've got to go to hell. Why not just do what it takes for us to be able to go to heaven? So that we can have mansions in heaven made specifically for us. So that we can go to heaven and enjoy our lives in heaven instead of going to hell. Instead of going to a specific section in hell that is meant for people who do whatever. And instead of going to hell to burn and burn and burn and burn while others are enjoying heaven. It is time to repent. It is time to change our ways. It is time to go back to the world. So that when we die we will be able to go to heaven. So that we will not go to the sections in hell. So, so that we will not, will not go and be burning in hell. Um, we have to pray and ask God to take away from our hearts, to ask him to take away jealousy, envy, covetousness, and hatred. Ask him to take it away from your heart. Because the moment there is jealousy, there is envy, there is covetousness, there is hatred in your heart, you cannot enter heaven. So we've got to ask to pray that the Lord to take it away from our hearts. And we've got to, to forgive others. We should not be accusing others, but we should be forgiving them. We should not be the ones accusing them, but we have to forgive them. Maybe you have been known for accusing others. It is time to repent and change your ways and go back to the Lord. So that on the day the Lord appears, you'll be able to go with him. We should mind our own business. Because on the last day, you will not be with other people, you will be on your own, you will face judgment on your own. So why do you want to mind other people's business? As if you will be with them on the last day. Mind your own business and forgive others. There is a section for people who refuse to forgive others in hell. So a section has been specifically made for such people because they do not want to forgive others. They keep whatever in their heart. They say, I will never forgive this one. I will never forgive this one. Some of them, they even teach their children that you see this one did this and this to me 100 days ago. Don't talk to them. Don't greet them. Don't do, 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 do. You have to forgive. It doesn't matter what they did. It could be painful. Just forgive and move on. Just forgive so that you, where, where you go, you end up in heaven. Why keep that jealousy or whatever it is? I don't know what it is that you, that you fail to forgive. 
and then you want to pass it on to your children and your relatives and your friends. You want to pass it on and they keep it and you talk about it and talk about it and talk about it and talk about it. Learn to forgive. I don't know what they did to you. It might be painful. It might be very bad. But for your own sake, to save your soul, just forgive them. And ask the Lord to help you forgive if you cannot. Ask the Lord to take it away from you so that when you die, you go to hell. Be heaven. Because there's no point for you to be suffering and going through pain because of what they did to you. And then you die again, you go to hell again, you suffer again. You better learn to forgive so that when you die, at least you save your soul. When you die, at least you go to heaven. Because what they did happened. We cannot go back and reverse it. We cannot go back and change it. You just forgive them and move on your, with your life so that when you die, you go to heaven. So that when the Lord appears, you'll be able to go with them, with him. There's also a session in hell, in hell for people with debts. Don't just think that if you take debts or you are in, in your debt, you think it's the end of it. And you don't pay, you think it's the end of it. Or you escape the, the, the person that you are supposed to pay and you think it's the end of it. It's not the end. There's a session in hell for people who have got debts and they fail to pay their debts. The, this session, these people are divided into three groups or this session is divided into three groups. The first group is for people who owned debts but postponed paying. They kept on saying, I'll pay, I'll pay, I'll pay, I'll pay until they died. And then when they died, they have got debts that are outstanding. They have got debts that are owing that they did not pay. It's as though they go to hell. This is why I said maybe they, they did everything else well. They forgave others. They're not jealous. They did nothing. But because of the debts, only that debt is outstanding. Only the debt they didn't pay. So they end up going to, to hell. But maybe they didn't know that it would cause them to go to hell. We have, if you have got debts, if you have got anything owing, it's better to pay. So that you don't have anything outstanding if you die when you die so that when you die you just go to heaven street the the session for people with the debts is divided into three those that postponed paying until they died before paying and then there's a section number two is for people who were who were able to pay the debt but refused to do so because of the consequence because they were afraid of the consequences that 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 they were going to face if they had paid maybe they only had enough money for food and for paying that either for food if they pay the, the debt they will not be able to pay food or they will not be able to pay rent so they decided not to pay the bill the, the debt so that they pay rent or they buy food they, they make the decision that I, I would rather not pay the debt and then I buy food or I pay rent they decide for themselves instead of asking the Lord for help so that he can help them pay the way the bill or so that he can make a way for them to be able to pay their debt but they do not ask the Lord they decide to do it their own way they decide to, to they, they decide not to pay because they are afraid that if they don't pay if they, if they don't pay the bill they'll not be able to pay their rent so they decide not to pay the bill they, and they they just pay the rent they leave the bill like that but they were able to pay then there's the third group for people who could not pay their debt at all but they did not ask the Lord for help. If you have got debt and you cannot pay it at all, ask him for help. Ask him to help you make a way. Ask him to help you make a way to pay the, the, the bill. Don't use your own wisdom. Some people just look at the bill and say, I cannot pay it. Maybe the bill is 10,000 and they get paid 500 pounds a, a month and they look at it and say, I cannot pay this. And they, they decided to leave it. They just use their wisdom. Instead of going back to the Lord and say, Lord, look, I've got a bill to pay, but I don't have the money. I don't know how I can do it. Help me, Lord. He will help you. He will show you the way out. But people just decide to leave it. And they just say, okay, I'll leave it. There's nothing they can do. Like in UK, they'll say, if I, if, um, if it affects my file, it doesn't matter. If I cannot get credit in future, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to pay the money. And they leave it like that. They think it's the end of the story. But it's not the end of the story. Because on the last day, that bill that you did not pay, that debt that you did not pay will be waiting for you. And you go to hell for it. And this, the section for, there's a section for people that died with debts in, in hell. And this section is divided into three. Like I said, the first session is for people who were unable, who postponed and saying they would pay, they would pay, they would pay until they died before they paid. And then the second se section, the session, second group is for people who, who, who could pay, but they decided not to pay because of the consequences they could have faced if they had paid. Maybe they were not going to be able to pay rent. And then the sex, third group is people who were not able to pay at all, but they did not ask the Lord. How, how they can go about with it, about it. They did not ask him, they did not pay, they did not do nothing, and then they died and they end up in hell in this section for people with deaths. There is also another section in hell for people for 
people who practice witch witchcraft and wizardry. There are so many people in this section. They eat their own flesh and they drink their own blood. On earth they, eat, they used to eat the human blood, human flesh, and they used to drink human blood. But now they are in hell, in a section specifically made for themselves. So they drink their own blood and they eat their own flesh. When they, when they drink their own blood and they eat their own flesh, it, is, it causes pain to them, too much pain. But after a time, the pain goes. And then they start again. It's, it's like a cycle. Then they start eating their flesh again and they drink their own blood again and they, it's painful. They go through pain again. After some time, the pain goes and they, they start again. It's, it goes on like that, like that. It's a cycle continuously without stopping. There's a place for people like that. The Bible says in Isaiah 20, 49 verses 26, I will feed those, I will feed those who oppress you with their own flesh, and they shall be drunk with their own blood, as with sweet wine. All flesh shall know that I am the Lord, your Savior, and your Redeemer, the Might One of Jacob. So they used to oppress people here on earth. They used to drink blood of human beings here on earth. They used to eat flesh of human beings here on earth. But when they go to hell, they will eat their own flesh. When they go to hell, they will drink their own blood. As the Bible is saying in Isaiah 49, 26, I'll feed those who oppress you with their own flesh and, and they will be drunk with their own blood as with the sweet wine. All flesh shall know that I am the Lord, your Savior, and your Redeemer, the Might One of Jacob. The Bible also says in Exodus 22:18, You shall not permit a sorcerer or sorceress to live. You shall not permit a sorceress to live. These are the witches and the wizards. So when they die, there's a section for them in hell. And this section is, is there are many people there. There are many women and there are many men in hell. They are busy drinking their own blood and eating their own flesh. 